Hi, welcome to Big Business, a segment of Growth Club that looks at successful Nigerian businesses, their origins, their first 10 years, and important milestones along the way. And we also look at 10 strategic decisions that they took that helped them to get to the success that they've achieved today. Today, we'll be looking at Dangote Group, one of the most successful Nigerian businesses that we have around today. My name is Usman, and I am your Growth Club. The Dangote Group was founded in 1981 as a small trading firm, but it has since grown into one of the largest conglomerates in Africa. The company started as a trading firm importing and selling sugar, rice, and cement. But today it has diversified into various sectors such as cement production, sugar refining, salt production, flour mining, and oil and gas exploration. In the first 10 years of its existence, Dangote Group grew at an impressive rate expanding its operations beyond Nigeria to other African countries such as Benin, Togo, and Ghana. This growth was hugely due to the visionary leadership of Hadiko Dangote, who had a clear strategy and was not afraid to take risks. However, like every successful company, the Dangote Group faced many challenges along its way. One of the biggest challenges was the lack of infrastructure in Nigeria, which made it difficult to transport goods from one part of the country to another. This challenge was compounded by the fact that the company relied heavily on imports for its raw materials, which made it vulnerable to fluctuations in the foreign exchange market. Despite these challenges, the Dangote Group continued to grow, and today it is one of the largest employers in Nigeria. With over 30,000 employees, the company has achieved many important milestones on its journey, such as becoming the largest cement manufacturer in Africa with an annual production capacity of 48.6 million tons. So what are the key strategic decisions that were instrumental in Dangote's success. There are 10 of such decisions that I believe are worth highlighting. The first is diversification. Dangote's group's success can largely be attributed to its diversification strategy. By diversifying into various sectors, the company was able to spread its risk and reduce its dependence on any one sector. The second is vertical integration. The Dangote group's vertical integration strategy was also a key factor in its success. By owning every stage of the production process, from raw materials to finished products, the company was able to control costs and ensure consistent quality. The third is technology and innovation. The Dangote Group invested heavily in technology and modern machinery to improve the quality of its products and increase efficiency in production. The fourth is strategic partnerships. The company formed strategic partnerships with other companies in the industry, such as Lafarge Flour Mills of Nigeria. This helped to expand its operation and increase its market share. Geographic expansion is a feat. The Dangote Group expanded its operations to other African countries, such as Ghana, Tanzania, and Ethiopia. This helped to diversify its revenue streams and reduce dependence on the Nigerian market. The sixth is cost management. The company implemented a strict cost management strategy which helps to reduce expenses and increase profitability. The seventh is corporate social responsibility. Dangote Group engaged in various corporate social responsibility initiatives such as building schools and hospitals to improve the lives of the people in the communities where it operates. The eighth is strong leadership. Aliko Dangote, the founder and CEO of the company, provided strong leadership and vision for the company. He was able to attract and retain top talent, which led to drive the company's growth. The ninth is strategic acquisitions. The company acquired several companies in the industry, such as Benue Cement and Obadana Cement. This helped to expand its operation and increase its market share. And the tenth is brand building. Dangote Group invested heavily in brand building and marketing, which has helped to increase awareness and demand for its products. The Dangote story is a testament to the power of consistency and perseverance. Despite facing numerous challenges, the company was able to overcome them and emerge as a dominant player in the industry. One of the key takeouts for me from the Dangote story is backwards integration. Trust me, it's something that I've experienced firsthand. Something that I wish I knew when I started my own business. It's never too late to learn. I hope that as an entrepreneur, you've been able to connect with one or two points from this story and that it inspires you to greatness. And I look forward to telling your own story. If you enjoyed this and you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe, like, and share with your friends. And until we meet in the next one, this is Growth Blog. Start, grow, scale.